Hey couples, it's a Thursday night and that means it's date night. And we've got some hate mail from many of you saying, why are you guys doing a date night in opposite? It didn't make sense to me either, people. Yeah, in separate rooms. Well, the, the truth is it was for our work-life balance. It really... No. Yeah, that is. And that's what we're talking about tonight. We're talking about work-life balance. So sure, we'll do it like this just for all of you haters out there, but we're going to get back to work-life balance and you'll know why by the end of this particular conversation. Right. Or it could be that you thought it looks better, the viewing experience is better having a split screen. Listen. And it's not as awkward for us to look at each other. I've heard it both ways. Well. But the point is tonight... We're talking about work-life balance for couples. And let's start off right away with the good news. If you're a successful couple with fruitful careers, you don't have to give up on those careers once you start a family, but you do need to be ready to adjust how you've done things in the past. So Tracy, in our lives, we can relate to this because before we had kids, we could just come and go as we please. We could do whatever we want. It was all about our relationship. Right. And then the cruel thing about life is... <laughs> You get super busy all at once, right? Yep. You're having kids, you're building your career. Yep. And what I've heard is that at some point, at the end of all of this here in another couple of years, we're gonna be like all of a sudden empty nesters, not as worried about building our careers and right. not worried about our families, just waiting for grandkids someday to come along that we I can know. just totally ruin. We are kind of starting to enter that phase. But I want to say to you couples, and maybe this has come into clearer focus for you during this time of pandemic and being forced to work from home. And so now home life and work life have literally been fused mm -hmm. together. Um, maybe that's added a lot of stress to your relationship. And that's normal because we've been in a pandemic, but it's also normal to have this constant struggle of how do we balance what we want to do in our home life with our family, but then what do we want to be doing in our careers? And I don't know, for me, it might be good just to think about what it was like when you were maybe single and you dreamed of what you hoped your life would look like one day where you had your job, but you wanted to have a spouse and a happy marriage and then have kids that instead of looking at the season that maybe you're in where you feel overwhelmed by all that you have on your plate to remember that there's a lot of joy and fun that comes from this. And this is mm -hmm. something that you dreamed of. So the question isn't really you know, this is just too much and I can't have it all. It's just how do I find the balance and pick and choose in the season that we're in where sometimes career is more heavily focused and sometimes family is and you're just constantly adjusting. Now, couples, I will say this, that if you scroll down beneath this video on the date night page online, you can listen to the podcast that we did last year with mm -hmm. the good friends of ours, Jason and Jennifer Wall. Mm -hmm. Jason is a fighter pilot, total stud. Reminds me a lot of myself. <laughs> um, Jennifer is a is a busy executive. Um, she's a mom and an executive, mm -hmm. and they're just they're it's kind of like a Ken and Barbie couple. They are. They yeah. look like Ken and Barbie. But what we love about it, you're going to want to listen to it now, but what we love about it is they, they've they been able to do this. They've been able to hang on to, like, really do well in their careers, but also spend great a great amount of time and not sacrifice anything with their two beautiful boys that they have at home. And I think that for them, like, what they talk about and what we've had to do is we had to decide as a couple, what are our goals in our careers and what are our goals for family mm -hmm. and then kind of negotiating through that because there's been some times where you've needed more time to work on your career or things that are happening and I could have less time and could focus more at home. And then there's been other times where you've had to kind of kick in more at home because I've gotten busier in my career. Mm -hmm. So it's just kind of that give and the take and really just always evaluating as a couple, where are our goals? What do we want to be accomplishing? What might we need to do and what adjustments might we need to make for just a season mm -hmm. to get through that? So let's take a minute right now in the live stream and let's, let's give you a second to answer this question. Go ahead and define three work goals that you have, write them down, and define three goals for your family at home and write those down. We'll give you about a minute here to do that. And then, you know, of course, after the live stream, we'll give you some more time to talk about it.
All right, time's up. Don't forget, you can go back and talk about that a little bit later on when we're done here. But here's the big idea, and I think this is really important with those goals in front of you. You know, you've got, you've got your work goals, you've got your, your goals for your home. And uh, I hope you did those together, by the way, husbands and wives. And what you want to do now is you want to remember this really simple principle. Sometimes you give up things you love for things you love more. This is a principle of sacrifice. The truth is we are always going to give the most time to what we really prioritize. So Tracy, if a husband is out there saying, um, no, I really love you, honey, and I really care. You know, there's nothing more important than my family, you know, uh, but then he never can put down his phone mm -hmm. or he can't, you know, he can't prioritize time. He can't make it to games or things like that then you got to kind of be honest about it and say, well, well, maybe maybe you just have to take a hard look in the mirror and realize that you've elevated your work goals above your home goals, which is fine if you meant to do it. But if you didn't mean to do it, then you got to be honest with yourself. Yeah. And again, I think when you're working in a partnership, a healthy marriage is a partnership and that you're walking through life together. And so when you feel like maybe one spouse is like you've, you've stated these goals, but then we're, we're seeing that in practice, we're not really meeting those or our behaviors aren't reflecting that what we're trying to achieve. Those are then constant conversations that you need to be having as a couple. And that's where sacrifice is a part of this because I can't be a full-time mom giving all of my energy and attention to my kids and be giving full attention to my career. So there's been a season in my life where I made the decision and the sacrifice to say, I'm gonna put that career goal on hold because I want to be home with my kids from infant to five, you know, before they start school. And that was just kind of a value that we decided on, but that came at a sacrifice for me. Right. But then as I started to pick back up in my career, as our kids were in school, you stepped in more on some of those things at home and with the kids that allowed me the freedom to then go back and achieve some of those things I wanted to do in my career. Yeah. And I love, I, I mentor a guy, Eric, if you're watching, shout out to you, Eric. I love that he's an example of yeah. a guy, he and his wife looked at it and they looked at their two careers and I love this. He said, you know what, I'm willing to give up my career right now. They have a two year old at home and another one on the way. He said, I, you know, one of us has to give up our career for this time in our life because they probably had a conversation like this and made some hard decisions about what they really, what they really want. The truth is if husband and wife are both just going 100% for their career, and dropping your kids off to daycare and you've got someone else that that isn't related to them at all raising them just like really i think you really have to think about mm -hmm. what are we doing 15 20 years down the road is it really worth it for us 15 20 years down the road because tracy right now here we sit saying we're really enjoying this time now yeah. where we can work together and build this library and these resources but we didn't sacrifice our kids to get here Right. And I think that that's what's kind of hard is to be forward thinking enough as you plan and strategize about your goals for both career and home to recognize that the decisions you make have consequences, good and bad. And if you kind of focus solely on, let's just say career in this example, and you have kids, but you don't really give time to that, you might look back on that and be like, oh man, we didn't develop those the relationship with our kids. We didn't establish some of these principles we wanted to put in their life. And now they're a teenager and it's kind of like our time is lost yeah. and we can't get it back. So remember that as you're planning and thinking, don't, you don't want to look back on your life and regret that you didn't strategize and plan and, and really have goals and then have a plan for how you're accomplishing them. Yeah, really the conversation you have tonight in your date night might, you might look back on this years from now and say, that was a real turning point for us. Mm -hmm. That was a watershed moment. Maybe you just never even, you were so busy, you never even gave it a chance to really have these conversations. Say, wait a second, you know, let's consider the cost of what we're building here yeah. in our careers. And are we, are we willing to pay that price? And you, again, it's not like you have to necessarily quit your job. It just might, might mean you say, we're, wait, we're going to balance, we're going to intentionally make a decision to balance this. I've got to learn to say no to some things at work. My dad, I, I'm, all, I'm so happy for my father. We we learned later on in life that he gave up promotions, intentionally gave up promotions in his career because he wanted to be able to be home and watch our games and be there for us. He didn't want to miss his kids. Now, 
we it, I don't know how much money he ended up giving up over the long haul, maybe hundreds of thousands of dollars over a period of years. I, I don't think he would trade it for a second. Right. I think he he was happy that he made that sacrifice. It wasn't even a huge sacrifice. We didn't even know about it, but but now we do. And it was a great model for us about work-life balance. Yeah, and I just think that as you talk about this as a couple and maybe as it brings up stress thinking, well, I'm not, I mean, I can't give up my career to stay home more. Or, you know, if you're having like that feeling in your heart right now of like, I don't see how there's any way to have both and to do it well. Just remember that any decision that you make doesn't have to be for a lifetime. It mm -hmm. can just be for a season and maybe right. just kind of break it into the season that you're in, the ages of your kids and what it allows, like what are the goals you want for your kids and your home life? And then so what changes might that mean or what things might you give up temporarily in your career um, to make those things happen? Yeah, so couples, there's the topic for tonight. Remember there's a podcast you can listen to. It's not real long, but it's worth listening to. I encourage you to listen to our interview with Jason and Jennifer, good friends of ours. And remember, if you're watching on Facebook or YouTube and you want some, you want to suggest some topics for date nights as we continue to do this throughout the summer, uh, make sure to leave those suggestions for us. We'll work on that. We may or may not be here together, but please don't think that that is a reflection <laughs> of our marriage. We love each other. Just trying to establish work-life balance. Use we just us, need some space. Use those questions below to talk about it, and we'll see you next week for our next date night. <laughs>